My name is Gareth Wallace, I'm a Divisional Manager at Coworco and I'm here with Warren Classen, our Head of Projects. So Coworco became involved with the Kidston Pump Storage Hydro Project around early 2021, at which stage the dewatering aspect of the Eldridge Pit that we can see behind us. Hi, I'm Cameron Green, Surface Works Area Manager for a joint venture between McConnell Dow and John Holland. We're here in Kidston, far north Queensland, approximately 400 kilometres inland from Townsville. We're uh, building a pump storage hydro project for our client Genex. My name is Will Heffern. I'm a site engineer here on the Surface Works team at uh, the Kidston Hot Pumped Hydro. I've been involved with the project since the start, which is about two years now. Um, the project's going along really well. Every day you come out here and you see some more progression happening. The Surface Works element is uh, almost coming to an end, which is really good. We'll be able to start dewatering soon and start moving some water. The dewatering package here at the Kidston Hydro Project involves moving 30 gigalitres of water from this pit here, which is the Eldridge Pit, into the new Wiser's Dam, which we're constructing here. We have a 300 day construction window to remove that water into the upper reservoir. That's dictated some fairly large pumps with a combined mass of about 60 tonne. We've engaged GoEco to provide that floating solution for that pump system. Uh, we had a few key performance elements. Uh, one, obviously the stability of the pontoon and its ability to carry the weight of the pumps safely. We wanted a durable pontoon. We wanted input on constructability. We wanted a mod door system that could be easily transported to site across some challenging roads. We wanted a system that we could put together with the available resources on site and within the limitations of the site, which ultimately resulted in the modular pontoon we see behind us. Given we need to pull 180 metres of water from within the pit, an elaborate winching system had to be developed to allow the pontoon to be descended as the water level dropped that 180 metres. Just imagine that pontoon there with all the winches and the, the pipes connected, drops 180 metres from where it is now. So it probably ends up something closer to there with the, the pipes that pull it back that way. To put it to scale, it's about the height of the Sydney Eye. So if you were to put that in that pit, that's how much water we have to remove from it. The pontoon's held in location using a winch arrangement, approximately spaced at 120 degrees. We have three winches holding the pontoon on station. The winches are a really critical element of the dewatering package and are holding the pontoon in place. That pontoon has a particular location that it needs to be in when we start dewatering. And uh, as we start dewatering, we're not going to have any access to manoeuvre it or move it with boats ourselves. As the water is removed from the lower reservoir, the pontoon will swing an arc approximately 50 metres. Uh, as the water is pulled down 180 metres vertically, so it's important to have flexibility in that winch arrangement. Winch ropes are paid out as that pontoon makes its way to its final pumping position. As you can see over here, we have uh, one of the winch systems. It's a 14 tonne winch system and a 40 tonne capacity uh, Dyneema rope. The very special thing about this uh, rope is that it's uh, scuff resistant and also uh, does not conduct electricity. Uh, this was one of the requirements by the client in terms of the specification. The design phases with Coerco were fairly collaborative, so we provided the input parameters from around the site. Uh, Coerco worked with that information, developed some concepts, we agreed final configurations, we added input on module handling, assembly and craneage. Uh, those comments were taken on board, incorporated into the final design that was approved and ultimately fabricated by Coerco. Working with Coerco has been enjoyable. They've listened to our design input throughout the constructability reviews and we've ultimately ended up with a, a pontoon solution that we were comfortable to receive, comfortable to assemble within the limits of the site and within the resources available on site. It's been a really easy work in Coerco. Whenever I need some information from them, they're easily accessible to uh, call or chat with or send an email through and receive the information through promptly. If I had a, a job requiring a similar solution or a, working on a project requiring one, I'd definitely get Coerco involved and, and look to seek a solution from them. It's been very enjoyable working with Coerco and uh, as you can see with the solution we've got there, it's uh, all come to fruition pretty well. We certainly look to Coerco to provide a similar solution if need be on a future project with a similar requirement. We're very proud to have been involved with an important aspect of the construction of this iconic project and to have seen this advance through our project delivery processes is pleasing. <laughs>